Okay, so about six months ago, I purchased a Bamboo Labs X1C. And to be honest, I love this printer so much that I went ahead and purchased another one. So after owning these printers for about six months or so, I've come down to the conclusion of this. These printers are absolutely ahead of its time in terms of reliability, its print speed, its ease of use, and the fact that you can get so many projects done in a single day. But it wasn't until recently until I realized that although my workflow with 3D printing has gotten faster, I'm still the same mess in terms of organization and keeping things organized. So I essentially wanted to create something that I can keep all of my essentials in one place where I can easily grab it, pick it up, take it with me, and also make sure that I could just dump anything I wanted in there, sort of like a storage crate. So after browsing on Amazon, I found a huge collections of storage crates, boxes, basic organization tools, you name it. And to be honest with you guys, those things can get quite expensive. So I did the most logical thing possible. Why not 3D print it? So here's the plan. I had four things that I really cared about in a storage crate. One, it needed to be collapsible, meaning that I can actually disassemble it and fold it apart. That way I can put it in a safe place when not in use. Number two, it needed to be stackable, meaning that I can actually stack them on top of each other vertically to save space. Three, it needed to be sturdy, if not just as strong as a regular storage crate that you would buy online or in store. Because if I want to put something in it, it should at least hold those items without falling apart. Lastly, the entire thing needed to be 3D printed. No buying tools, accessories, or parts, just a 3D printer filament and that's it with that said i got to work now before i show you the working prototype i need to address some main things in order to get this to work the first thing is that in order to get that foldable aspect of the design that means that the two long sides of the crate need to be short enough to fold inward but also tall enough to match its outside shorter counterparts Additionally, on the shorter sides, it also needs to lock in place with the longer parts. Since we can't just fold the parts and expect them to stay in place, they need to fold out, lock in place, and actually be able to detach from each other to give it that foldable aspect and actually carry it around wherever we go. So I got most of the assembly down and I sent my first prototype off to print and here are the final results. Here I have the first prototype of the foldable storage crate. In front of me, there are five main parts to the system. We have the two long folding parts. I added a unique diagonal pattern to give it that crate-like look. And it also comes with those slots or those hinges where they can actually lock in place with the shorter end. Then from here, we also have the two shorter parts. These sides also have the same unique diagonal pattern as before. It also has those two top slots. That way we can stack them on top of other crates or below it. It has built-in hinges to the parts so they can lock in place and a convenient hand to hold and carry. And lastly, we have the base of the crate itself. It features three hinges for the longer parts of the design, that way they snap in place, and two hinges for the shorter side of the design, so those also snap in place as well. Assembly is super easy, just snap the parts into the hinges of the base, and now the project is essentially complete. I created this crate to be easy to assemble, easy to print, easy to fold, and as well as give enough leeway and room for those 3D printing tolerances and stuff like that. Total print time was about 12 hours on my Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon and took about 300 grams of filament to print. I also printed a smaller size with different designs, which took me about six hours to print and roughly about 150 grams of filament. Now, I know some of you might be asking about the price breakdown of this product compared to actually buying it online. Here's the price breakdown. It took me about 300 grams of filament to print and the roll of filament that I use is Elegoo, which estimates to about $20 per roll or $20 per 1000 grams. So that would roughly equate to about $6 per print and $3 for the smaller size. Of course, the total print time for the larger crate was about 12 hours. And of course, electricity costs can vary by region, but I'm actually leasing an office space here, which they don't charge me for electric costs or anything like that. That's probably already included with my lease. So I'm technically not really paying for electricity costs here. So I'll just mark that as zero. But of course for you, it would probably be different. Overall, I think this print was an overall success. I was able to successfully create a 3D printable storage crate that is collapsible, foldable, and light 
wait. And if you guys want to get access to the file, I do have a Patreon down below in which I upload all my files and projects that I make. So if you like to support my content and get access to those STL files, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Of course, you don't have to, but I appreciate any support that comes my way. If you guys have any feedback or comments on how to make this file better or how to improve this project or even how to make this project sturdier, better, quicker to print, whatever it might be, just drop down your suggestions down below in the comments. Of course, this is not a complete final design. There's probably a few changes that I still want to make to this project, but overall, I think we completed our main objective that we set in the beginning of the video. So with that said, this is Brandon signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.